something and maybe I would take something away from what's already been said brother D train been such a wonderful meeting and been enough brother Israel to save the whole world already if men and women would listen and take heed to it these brothers have done such a wonderful job talking about being hungry today I feel the church is hungry uh, you know we've got a brother over at our church brother Nate you already know who I'm talking about it seems like weekend after weekend, Brother Fred, we come out and, and he'll sit there from the first song and he'll begin to cry and, and praise God and he'll praise him until the last song is sung in the day. Brother Mike, uh, uh, we even made the joke about it. We said that brother, uh, why he ain't seen a bad meeting yet because uh, uh, Brother Darren, he comes and he's hungry uh, uh, weekend after weekend. Uh, we had us uh, a little meeting on a Saturday night. Uh, uh, why we had a uh, uh, why just a few of us was gathered together. Uh, uh, why not a whole lot? Uh, uh, you know, people's got better things to do on a Saturday night. Uh, uh, but we all come together, brother Israel. Uh, why? in there. Uh, oh, people, don't you know uh, why, how easy would it have been uh, uh, to say, well, the lights are out. Uh, uh, we can't have church now. Uh, uh, why did they keep glad right now? I'm glad the lights were out. Uh, 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 oh, my Lord, he's been crying your way. Uh, uh, there's been plenty of times, Brother Mike, uh, uh, that he heard me when the lights 
me uh, oh, why these made me want to do things uh, yeah. that I never thought I'd do uh, uh, before. I never thought I'd stand in front of uh, people and tell them about Jesus. You're doing a good job. I never thought I'd stand in front of men and women and shout and tell them how good God has been to them. Praise you. He's wonderful today. Yeah, buddy. You know, we played a, played a lot of games in my life and you know, I, I missed uh, some shots one time. We were playing in a big championship game in college. and You know, in the, the tournament that's going on right now, everyone, they're watching it, Brother Nate. They got their brackets filled out all nice and neat, and they, and they fill them out like that. And uh, why? And uh, this man, he came to me one time, and he said, I just don't understand. I just don't understand why God would let you. You see, the game was on the line, and, and I had two big free throws that I had to hit, Brother Fred. Uh, uh, and I stepped up there, and I missed them both. Uh, and we lost the game, and we went home, and our season was over. Uh, and this man, he came up to me, and he said, uh, uh, Why, i got to ask you something. He said, uh, I just don't understand uh, uh, why as good of a person as you are. He said, I've watched you uh, and the life that you lived. Uh, he said, and I just can't understand why God will let you uh, oh, I step up there and miss those shots. Uh, I said, don't you know? Uh, I said, I don't mean anything. Uh, I said, I don't get to take any of that stuff with me. Uh, I said, but I'm happy here. Uh, and I'm having a good time and serving the Lord today. I've got all I need. Uh, I don't need anything, Brother Nate. Uh, I can't take anything with me anyway. You need him more than you need anything. I'm going to say the church doors is open. My Lord opened those church doors 2,000 years ago. I'm going to. extend it by recommendation or and uh, that being if you've been baptized or you're satisfied with that baptism and it's orthodox and and you're okay with it we'll take you in by that and uh, but if you're here today and you and you feel like God has came into your life that uh, um, and you have him and you want to go and, and be baptized that we'll take you out here and, and baptize you too and, and um, I, I want to say that and if there's someone here today that uh, is lost and you're praying and you, you're desiring the Lord in your life and, and uh, you need Him more than you need to go home today, friend. 
that if you uh, if you have a desire to come down and to pray and want someone to pray with you, we'll do that. We don't get in no hurry to a lost man or lost woman and uh, that uh, desires prayer. Someone said, well, can, they, can you save me? No, can't do that. But we know one that can. I want you to want. No one that can. And I know this, that if you're sincere with your whole heart, soul, mind, and strength, he said, Sister Bonnie, I'll be found with you. And God don't lie. And uh, that's one thing he can't and won't do. Uh, the old brethren used to say he can't lie. Well, he can do anything, but he won't lie. And he won't go back on his promise. He's not slack, the Bible says, concerning his promises. And one thing stands assured. The seal of God stands assured. Having the seal, that promise. Oh, yes. Then he said like this. He said, the promise of God stands assured. Having this seal, God knows to land those that are his. And that seal is that blood that Brother Darren sung about. It's the blood that these brethren have preached to you about. It's the Jesus that they've preached about. It's the check that was written one time and it, and it healed the baby. And it was a check that was written and it was worth everything that he had. It was his whole life he gave. Brethren, we've, he's paid a price that none of us could pay today. And we ought to be willing to say, Lord, we thank you for everything you've done for us. And I want to say like this, if you're here today and you've never done that in your life, you may say, Preacher, I'm almost, I feel like I'm almost there. Friend, almost will cause you to split hell wide open. But today, I'm going to tell you, getting there will take you to surrender it all. To surrender it all. And somebody said, well, what do I need to do to do that? You're the only one that can do that. The Bible says, else you forsake husband, wife, children, land, all these things for me. You'll not likewise ever see what the kingdom of heaven looks like. Somebody said, well, well I have to give that all up. I have to give up everything. Friend, let me tell you something. You, you do this. You, you show that you're willing to. And I can guarantee you God will save your soul. If the young man would have given, God would have given everything that he had up and sold and give it to the poor like God told him to do. Jesus told him, He said, you sell everything you've got and you give it to the poor. And he went away sorrowful. Didn't do it, did he? And what happened to him, Brother Cody? He went to hell. Went to hell. And you know what? Had he had looked at God and said, I'll do whatever you want me to do, I believe God would have given him tenfold more than what he already had. But obedience is what's going to cause you to eat the good of the land. Isaiah said that obedience is better than sacrifice. Then hearken is unto the fat of the ram. And today, if you want to eat the good of the land today, you be obedient and God will bless you. We've, we've had a good day. It's, it's, it's been...